There are applications that focus on building out financial services using cryptocurrencies. They offer lending, borrowing, earning interest, and private payments. These decentralized applications, or dApps, require a special system designed to achieve high security and reliability, where security is a critical factor for their success. However, despite increasing popularity and adoption, there is a lack of standardized models to study security threats related to blockchains. It's a crystal clear fact that there is a need for privacy projects aiming to provide a security and privacy layer for decentralized applications built on public blockchains. Developers need encryption services via a network for the ability to store, share, and manage private data on public blockchains. Today we will investigate one of the networks that provides cryptographic access controls for distributed apps and protocols. New Cypher Platform. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. To understand the new Cypher well, let's discover this cryptographic infrastructure for privacy-preserving applications. New Cypher Network started to focus on providing services to decentralized networks and aims to give developers the ability to store, share, and manage private data on public blockchains. There are two ways the protocol works, both of which involve cryptographic services. The first service New Cypher provides is through Umbral, which is the protocol's encryption scheme. The platform offers a secrets management system and dynamic access control services through Umbral. Apart from Umbral, New Cypher also uses Ursula, which is a network of operating nodes. Umbral allows users to both keep data private and share information in a secure way. More precisely, your private key can be saved, but it won't be seen throughout this process. Only you will have access to the unique encryption key, Ursula. Ursula performs both management and control functions for the new Cypher network. Ursulas are required to stake new to perform their network duties and earn newly minted new tokens. For your services, you'll receive rewards in both Ether and new Cypher. New Cypher's umbral re-encryption progress breaks down into four steps. Grant. A user or developer grants access to a piece of encrypted data to an address, or addresses, or choice by creating a policy and sharing it with the new Cypher network. Then, Ursalas, which are new Cypher nodes, receive the uploaded policy, which includes a re-encryption key. Then it's time to encrypt. These policies also contain an encryption key. Any other network participant which might be an IoT device or a collaborator can encrypt the data on the data owner's behalf and upload it to a storage layer, such as IPFS. The Ursulas in the group stand ready to re-encrypt data in exchange for payment and fees and token rewards. Then, the original user's intended recipient can then download the data from the appropriate storage layer. The resulting encrypted data can be uploaded to IPFS, Swarm, S3, or any other storage layer. Finally, the re-encryption process starts, recipient must send an access request to new Cypher nodes. If approved, Ursalas will re-encrypt the data to the recipient's public key, in other words, the data recipient obtains the encrypted data from the storage layer and sends a re-encryption request to the relevant Ursalas on the threshold network. If the policy is satisfied, Ursula decrypts the provided re-encryption key share and re-encrypts the data to a data recipient's public key. A data recipient can subsequently decrypt the data with his private key. Staking. Staking is perhaps the most important feature of the new Cypher, new Cypher crypto, new, is the native token of the new Cypher protocol. An Ethereum-based token with multiple use cases, holders of the new token earn rewards by staking the coin to run worker nodes. New token acts as a governance token on the new Cypher network and can be used as a tool to earn passively. To sum up, the concept of proxy re-encryption has existed for decades, but it's only recently been applied to distributed systems. New Cypher enables developers to develop permissionless bridges. New Cypher also provides responsive storage. This makes it suitable to be integrated with your decentralized applications. On the other hand, sharing encrypted information using New Cypher can be tiresome, because you have to create encryption keys for each of the recipients. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about New Cypher? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.